Okay, so, uh, this is kind of a transition season for me. Um, I've done music, I've done pastoring, uh, I've done a lot of different stuff, and now I am in a place where I do not know what's coming. Uh, and that can be scary sometimes, uh, but also sometimes freeing. Um, over the past three, four weeks maybe, I've been having these conversations uh, with more people um, than I thought I would be, and definitely more people than I've ever had a conversation with about certain topics in the past couple years. For example, uh, if you know me at all, if you've seen any of uh, you know, what I've been about for the past couple of years now, uh, maybe three or four or five years, um, I've been really committed in a lot of different avenues of trying to figure out what is next for uh, the church or for believers or uh, just people who have faith. I'm finding more and more that people have faith, uh, that people haven't lost uh, faith in the idea of God or Jesus or who he is or even what he came to accomplish, but people uh, in a lot of ways have lost faith in the church, in organized religion, uh, whatever language you want to put to it. Um, and I don't feel like this is a small sample size. This is a lot of people um, throughout a lot of different age ranges, um, through a lot of my travels and discussions. People have kind of lost faith in the church, uh, and a lot of people have walked away and stepped away, and I get it, and I don't think uh, you should be guilted or shamed if you're one of those people who have walked away. However, I believe, and the more people I'm starting to talk to, I think there's a group of people out there who truly believe that there's something coming, uh, that maybe we're not there yet, uh, but there's a group of people who are really uh, wanting to figure out how we get to a place in Christianity, organized religion, whatever you want to call it, where we actually are the thing in the hope that we talk about, not necessarily just church and manipulation and control and they want my money and blah, 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 blah. We, we, we've heard it all before and it's justified. But I'm starting to have more and more conversations with people who are wondering what's next. And not only what's next, but how do we get there? What can we do to uh, bring on what's next? So, um, a lot of people have been asking me in my personal transition season, uh, you know, I don't know what I'm going to be doing in the next 30, 60, 90 days, uh, but I felt really inspired lately to kind of just start doing videos and talking to these people um, and just getting a sense of what we can do to really start bringing this next wave of what I believe Christianity will look like in the next 10, 15, maybe even 20 years. Uh, you know, people have been asking me, Lauren, what's your overall goal? What do you want to do? I want to leave this thing better than where I found it. Um, it's not really about money anymore. It's not really about like fame or you know the, the production of a thing. It's really about how do we move the ball forward? How do we make the faith that we claim to have impactful and not a show and not just, well, ugh, you guys know what I'm trying to say. How do we actually make it genuine and real and love everybody and bring everybody into the fold? Uh, how do we do that? So what I'm going to attempt to do over these next couple of months until I really figure out what I'm doing with my life is I'm going to start meeting these people. I'm going to start getting them on camera so that you can meet these people so we can start hearing about what is next and how can we help bring on this next generation of, let's call it just not fake Christianity, genuine, real faith. How can we how can we be a part of moving this ball forward? Um, so that's really all I got today, guys. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, actually, next week, uh, I'm not going to announce their name or their church yet because this is all new, but I'm actually meeting with someone next week, so hopefully I'll have a video up for you guys, uh, and it'll be a lot more than me just sitting in a room talking to you guys on a camera. Uh, we're going to be talking to people. We're going to be interviewing people. We're going to go out and just see what's going on out there. So stay tuned, uh, and this should be fun.